Hello, I'm Eric Collins with Motivation Unlimited, and today we're going to be talking about bouncing back in life. And we're here with Steve Dennis, the owner of Motivation Unlimited, and I'm going to ask him a few questions about bouncing back. So Steve, you were telling me earlier about bouncing back in life and how you failed the fourth grade. Yeah. And you were telling about how you managed that experience. So could you please share with the people how you bounced back, using this basketball as an illustration, how you bounced back from that life experience? Awesome. Yeah, I sure will. Thanks for asking. Um, one of the things I've learned, and again, that particular experience in the fourth grade led to it quite a bit, that good management of bad experiences will always lead to great growth. Get that? Good management. How well do you manage a bad experience when it happens? Because how, how well you manage it, how well you manage a bad experience will always lead to great growth. So when you want to grow, bad things, good things, they happen to all of us. But here's what I've learned. It's not necessarily what happens, but how you respond to it when it happens. And so my fourth grade experience, it was kind of tra traumatizing because of the fact that I got a new nickname at the time that I failed the fourth grade. The guys called me Fat Flunk. I was kind of a heavy set kid. Uh, but so at the process, in the whole process of it, years later, learning how to manage that is what helped me to be able to bounce back. And here's what I learned, and this, this may be good for parents or even some teenagers who are watching this. It doesn't matter when you finish, as long as you finish. Yeah, I didn't finish high school at the right time. I mean, crying out loud, I was 19 years old when I did finish, you know. Uh, my father died maybe four days before graduation. But here's what I found out. It doesn't matter when I finish, what really mattered is that I did finish. I didn't give up, I did not quit. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Awesome, so managing bad experiences and not giving up yeah. helped you bounce back from that situation. Exactly, wow. yeah. That's totally awesome. Yeah. And just like in basketball, mm -hmm. when, you're, when you're a point guard and you're dribbling the ball, you have to be able to manage the ball yeah. and handle the ball so that you can assist <laughs> your teammates in scoring. Yeah. So Steve, you mentioned bouncing back from the fourth grade. Yep. Finishing. Mm -hmm. So great to hear. I want you to also tell the people that what, after you manage those bad experiences, like, like we talked about handling the ball, and how a good point guard can handle the ball and assist others in scoring, yeah. how did that help you from beyond the fourth grade? Wow. Well, <laughs> you know, whenever you've had an experience that's devastating, one thing about it, you never forget it. Yeah. Um, if you're not too careful, you can get stuck in it because you rehearse or keep repeating the, the negative emotion that goes along with that experience. But again, how I got over it was I recognized that, again, learning how to manage that bad experience led to great growth. And it was exciting to find out that my life had some value to it, and the more I kept growing and developing, um, and also recognizing different other things I did that, that was successful. Yeah. Uh, that helped me to get to more of a place where I started recognizing that I have life inside of me, right? And so for an example, what caused this ball baby to bounce back compared to a flat ball that has no life, no vitality, no value to it, that ball is literally flat. Question, what would happen, Eric, if I took this same ball, I'm about 50 yards away from where, we're, where we are now, and threw it inside of a swimming pool? Would the ball sink, or would it float? The answer, it would float. In other words, it would stay on top. And I submit, what I learned was this, when, you're, when you have a practice in your life of bouncing back from every setback, that life becomes so engrossed inside of your, your being that you become a new teacher I'm looking at doing pretty soon. You literally become unsinkable. <laughs> in other words, when life throws pressure at you, it doesn't take you down, it doesn't take you under, it keeps you on top. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> That's extremely yeah. good. Yeah. So keeping yourself on top. Yeah. Like air on the inside of you. Yeah. That is so good. Life. <laughs> life is air and air is life. There you go. I Absolutely. Love it. You're yeah. able to bounce back uh -huh. through any situation. <laughs> so again, with Motivation Unlimited, yeah. the own, with, here with the owner, Steve Dennis, and we're so glad that we could bring this to you today. And realize and recognize that when you have life in you and air in you, you can always bounce back from any situation. 
doesn't take anything to take a shot, whether you make it or not. Here's a lesson from that. What I've noticed is this, is that in life, sometimes you win, sometimes you learn, right? You learn what to do, you learn what not to do. Some of the greatest wisdom I've ever gotten is this, don't make all the mistakes in the world. Learn from somebody else's. <laughs> you can take other people's mistakes and their situations along with yours and have an entire curriculum on how to handle life. Here's what I've noticed as well, is that when you're constantly in that mode of bouncing back from setbacks, you get to a place and a space in your life where it becomes the norm, a new norm. And when your life is filled, again, as we said earlier, with vitality and, and, and meaning, you've gone from a life of ambition to more of a life of significance. And when you've done that, it's nothing. Life becomes easy <laughs> and exciting. And um, by the way, enthusiastic as well. Now, I don't play this game on a regular basis, but when I do, I shoot around, I make a lot of blunders, a lot of mistakes. It doesn't hinder me, it doesn't stop me from still getting out playing and having fun. And I share that with you for this main reason, that every, all of us have different events in life. E plus R equals O. The E stands for events, the R stands for your response, and the O stands for the outcome. You can determine your own outcome based on how well you learn to respond to the events in your life. I would encourage you, whether you make the shot or not, go ahead and shoot. <laughs> shoot. You never can tell what will happen. Learn how to take more risk. You're going to find out in life, again, sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. But just like this ball is being dribbled, you're going to always bounce back from every setback.